tell our audience about your early life. I was born in a little village in South Italy. Then uh, I, when I was a uh, still child, I went to Rome in a college. And then I, I lived in a college for seven years. At this point, I went to the university in Rome where I studied uh, political science and then I had the chance to enter the, the Italian uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. I must say that it was a little hard because, uh, you see, to, uh, this uh, college where I lived, they were very big with uh, hundreds of children. So it was a, a fight, let me say, it was a great fight. Also in the university, it was a, a fight, a fight to go to the to the cafeteria, if I, but it was useful because, uh, you see, when uh, I, I went then to the military service, uh, for me the military service was just a, a glass of uh, fresh water to drink. Mm -hmm. It was not so difficult. Generally, who goes to the military service has a little uh, pain, but for me, no, it was so easy <laughs> because I had so long experience in the college. Why you joined foreign service? Well, because I studied political science, which is uh, the, the best uh, faculty to enter in the, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And uh, of course, because I, am, I was and I am very curious about other people, uh, other lands and so on. What's the process of joining foreign service? One has to apply and one has to go through a very, let me say, difficult uh, uh, exam. Yeah? In which cities you have served before coming to Pakistan? I uh, was uh, attaché in, um, in Oslo, Norway, five years. Then uh, uh, in, um, uh, in Frankfurt am Main in, in Germany, also attaché, commercial attaché. Then I was in Russia, in St. Petersburg, other five years. Then I returned to Germany in uh, Freiburg, in the Black Forest, then in Munich, in Bayern, five years, and now at the end of my career, let me see, here in uh, Karachi. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you at Jinnah International Airport, Karachi. Well, I am attaché. I am attaché, like in my vice consul. Uh, my specialist is administration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the works that we do in the consulate, uh, but also in, uh, now also in the visa. Many, many students are interested to, to, to study in Italy. Maybe also because, you see, in, in, in Italy there is the biggest Pakistani community in Europe after England. Now that uh, everything is, uh, is easier, we will try to begin again with uh, cultural events uh, like concert uh, or uh, paintings. Uh, yeah? It's our plan, plan of Consul uh, Giordanella to start uh, as soon as possible uh, with the new course for, uh, in Italian for the Pakistani who are interested. There is a great interest, I must say. Did you opt to come here? I opted to come here because I was very curious. Uh, I, you see, Norway, Germany and, uh, and uh, Russia was a relatively easy land, let me see, easy to live. So I was very, I, I, I was curious to, to know another country in the Far East uh, to see how was the life uh, and so on. And it was a very good choice. <laughs> how long you have been here? Three years. I have been here. When are you leaving? Uh, in, a few in a few months. How was your experience here? Well, since the beginning, uh, let me say, it was a love at first sight. Because, of course, you have some problem. <laughs> well, there are two things that I don't like very much. Uh, no, I don't like at all. <laughs> the one is um, that it's too dirty. The people, they throw everything in the street and this is not nice. But the worst of all is when uh, uh, you go in the street and suddenly you, a motorbicycle or a car go, come on the contrary way. Uh, this makes me crazy. The city is rather uh, dirty, and chaotic and so on. But the people are so friendly. I was really impressed of the f friendship of the people. I, I must say that in the, I feel very relaxed to stay here. You see, 
uh, I have found a great friendship, great sincerity also. And I have found a lot of friends. Well, um, I have been uh, in the city centre, of course, Gina Mausoleum, uh, in a place in very, very peculiar because there is, a, the, the, there is a, like a hill which is a cut. In the, it's so interesting, I want to go there back. And then on the beach, uh, Port Grand, uh, Tuba, Mazid, and another Mazid, all, all in um, blue colors. Oh, it's incredible. In uh, Lia Markt. Lia Markt is so interesting. I've been there twice. And uh, every time uh, it's, uh, I discover some nice buildings, uh, yeah, which are uh, still uh, there, and I hope they will remain there. Because uh, I think that uh, Karachi needs a master plan <laughs> over at least 20 years. We, uh, and in 20 years, if they follow the, the, this, uh, this reconstruction, uh, yeah, like we do in Italy, I think Karachi will be a totally another city, even more beautiful than now. <laughs> you move around a lot in Karachi. But I think it's an incredible experience because uh, it's, uh, you can see incredible scene on the, on the bus. Yeah? The person who has a, a, a cock, yeah? <laughs> the person who, has, who, who sells strange Sadat. things. Oh, it's really a great experience, a great experience. Sadat. Karachi is uh, such a, an enchanting city, full of treasury, hidden treasury, uh, with this uh, peculiar uh, colonial style. Yeah? And if you walk in the street alone in the, on Saturday morning, uh, or Sunday morning, you can discover a lot of beautiful uh, buildings, very beautiful even if many of them are not well treated, let me say. They, they need a lot of care. But Karachi is really, from a, for a tourist, for a curious tourist, a cornucopia, you know what means? It's a source of continuous discover. Thank you. Thank you. Poco, poco. Safran, Safran. 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 No, no. Shukriya, Allah Hafiz. No, come si cuoce, no? How do you cook it? How do you eat? Oh. How do you eat? This is you have to boil. Ah, to boil, yeah. To boil. Bolton Mart, Sadar Mart, and uh, it's really a great experience. And I have made a lot of pictures which I have sent to friends and so on, and they, and <laughs> they are uh, full of uh, wonder, yeah? and many would also like to come here. I think Karachi could have a great future in the tourist branch, because uh, on winter, uh, which is the best season, yeah, 
uh, it's really pleasant to be in Karachi because uh, you're, uh, you, you can enjoy the lovely uh, kitchen, Karachi food, Pakistani food. Uh, it's, it's, according to my taste, it's, it's very interesting, very, very interesting. And sometimes they, some similarities with the, the, the Italian food of South Italy, yeah? because it's so, sh it's so um, strong, so generous. Um, Palak Paneer is uh, one of my fa favorites. Dalciana, Dalciana, and then uh, Muton Karai, Muton Karai. And, and you see, now uh, when I go to this restaurant, I, I let me advise also from friends with whom I go there. But it's a really very, very interesting uh, kitchen, and uh, I have selected my restaurant. I have at least a list of uh, 10 very good restaurants, which uh, I like to go there and I, uh, to return there. But every time I try to find a new one, really, and I am admirer of the quality, of the love for food, yeah? And I, I, I like this, um, uh, Suleiman Anda Parata. Suleiman Anda Parata, you know what I mean. Is, uh, I like to make breakfast like the Pakistani do. Because it's very healthy, it's very good, it's really interesting. And I like to visit a lot of this uh, uh, Chavala, you, you call it Chavala, this uh, tea shop. Uh, yeah. uh, Dude Pati is wonderful, I like it very much. Mm, good, very good. Uh, well, I, I am, um, I am um, married with a Russian woman I met in St. Petersburg. And then uh, we got a child there, then we moved to, to Germany in Freiburg. And then I have got two more um, children, two, two girls. And now they, they live in Germany. How old are your children? Uh, one is... Uh, 15 years old, boy. The, the second is a girl, uh, nine years old, and the last is a girl, six years old. So all of, have, all of them have been in Karachi? Yes, all of them, all of them, all of them. So what is, okay. your, what is their impression about Karachi? My, you see, they live in a very peaceful uh, and uh, quiet city, yeah? Noi Ulm, which is very interesting. It's, um, a country city. Here is everything is so alive, yeah. So big movement, so exciting. Really, they like it very much. And I repeat, uh, one of the characteristics of a, of a, um, Karachi is just, just this uh, li lively uh, city, always moving, always uh, running, and so on. It's really impressive. No, I go to uh, the barber in the street, first of all, because uh, I used to go to the barber, and my father was a barber. Yeah, this is the first reason. And I have seen that uh, these uh, barber in the street, they are extremely skilled person. They, they work very good. So in a way, when I go to them, I, I, I see my father uh, when I was a child, you understand? And these uh, barbers in the street, which are uh, not very educated and so on, but they are so friendly, so friendly, uh, that uh, it's a great experience for me. <laughs> when I was a child, the hygienic condition in my little vigil was uh, not so good, let me say. So I think I have an immune system <laughs> which is almost the same uh, of the Karachi people. <laughs> Have you been to other cities of Pakistan? Well, uh, only in uh, Hyderabad, Tata, where I visited Makli, and in uh, Gadani. In your opinion, what are the differences and similarities between Italians and Pakistanis? Well, that's a good question. Mm, you see, in, when I, in, in, in Karachi, I see the, the same uh, uh, relationship I had uh, I, I had lived in my childhood. My childhood is from uh, 1955 until 1965. And at that time, um, we lived, um, the, the family ties were very, very strong, as uh, in Pakistan now. 
And uh, this is, uh, I find it uh, very beautiful, really very beautiful. I liked the, the, the respect that you have for old people. It was uh, the same respect we had for old people. You see, at that time in Italy, the old people used to live uh, with the children. Now, you know, now it's changed a lot. But at that time, the old people were, were very respected, like, he, like here in Pakistan. When I go back to Italy or to Germany, because my family lives in Germany, uh, I, I dress in summer, in summer with um, Shalvar Kamniz. You have such beautiful, very interesting uh, music, which I like very much. Well, the, the sitar.